Hi. More, more on the Hobbit House. Okay, our uh, sculpt mold plaster uh, caulking or whatever you use to fill in along the cracks is dried now. All right. Now it's time to cut out the door. Okay. Uh, you can use all different types of stuff. Uh, cardboard stock, cut out a, a circle in that and then just paint your door. You can glue little slats of wood onto it. Uh, use some coffee stir sticks. Glue a whole bunch of those in a row on a piece of newspaper. And when that's dry, cut out your circle. And then glue that in there. Then you have real wood. In this case, I found a nice little thin stock of wood. But it's so thin that it keeps breaking on me. Okay, uh, I like veneers. Here, here's a weathering tip. Okay, uh, old doors. You know, if you've got an old piece of something that plywood that, and you have the room to do it, lay it out in the sun for a little while. Okay, now this, uh, this is some old weathered veneer off a door. So if you're making something that's uh, like an old box car or something where you want a little bit of detail into it. You know, this stuff works really good. This is really thin. It's a uh, sixteenth of an inch thin. So if I was making, let's say, an old abandoned house, what I would do is I would take some old pieces of uh, poster board or newspaper. I kind of like this poster board stuff just because it's a lot tougher. Okay? And, uh, Use your spray glue, and then just stick your veneer onto the, the glue, okay? And then once that's dry, here, I'll use a piece of this old stuff too. We'll make two. That's about the right thickness. Okay. And then you stick that on there. Okay. So, this glue is really sticky stuff, so any excess I pull off. Wind's picking up again. We had a big storm come through the other night. Got about 54 spires burning in the area now. Looks like another one. It's that kind of season. Okay, so since we're doing weathering, we gotta let that dry. Uh, we'll deep. We'll do some detailing actually uh, on this this Hobbit house. We'll put a little birdhouse in there. I, I like matchsticks. Okay, It'd be about the right size for a birdhouse for a Hobbit. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the, the match stick at about a 45, two 45s. So we got a peak now. So I can't see. Okay. Anyways, there's a, a peak to our for our roof. Uh, take one of our little thumb drills that we've made using a murat and hot glue gun. Okay, we're going to drill the the uh, hole for the birdhouse. Perfect. Uh, still can't see. That's okay. Take a, a needle and make a little hole just below the hole that you drilled now. I guess that bit there would be just in case uh, it be, I don't know, it's less than a sixteenth, maybe a thirty second, one thirty second drill bit. Bifocals really don't help that much, you know. Anyways, okay, so now we've got a little hole in below there. Now, to put it on a peg, okay, I guess we'll cut it, okay. Uh, if you don't have one of these yet, they're little razor saws, are very handy, okay. Now, I use all different kinds of little saws. This is a nice little hacksaw from Crappy Tire. It works really good for all kinds of stuff. Uh, but these are nice, okay? So we'll cut this in half here. Bear with me. That uh, Canadian tire saw that I showed you, it's about, uh, like, it's a, like a miniature hacksaw. Uh, I'll use a hacksaw for doing the windows on the Hobbit house here in a second, too. Okay. So of course, this is going to wait while we'll be able to see on camera, so. I think on my website there's a picture of a hobbit house and you can see one of the little bird houses there, okay? So this is now about a quarter of an inch high. 
little birdhouse with a hole on it. Okay. Put that up there. Bamboo skewers. You can trim these bamboo skewers down to really thin. And we're talking just like, you know, a little peg, peg style in there. Uh, it's really tough stuff. So you can have a piece of bamboo right here. Split that again. This little piece that comes off here. Okay, now that's that's really tough. That's not going to break if you accidentally bump up against it or something, or if somebody goes, "Oh, that's neat," and they touch it. Okay, it's a really thin little stock. You can actually trim that again in half, which I might. Okay, we take our little birdhouse and we take our pin again make a little hole at the bottom of it and we can stick this in that little hole we'll use a little bit of grip glue I busted it but oh well force too hard don't know my own strength anyways can you see that there's a little birdhouse on a peg okay and then that paint that all up like a little birdhouse yeah the little hole that you stuck on the bottom of the hole that we drilled in, okay, that'll be the perch, okay? So take another little piece of thin bamboo and stick that in the hole there, and we've got a little birdhouse that's only about a quarter of an inch high. It's really cute, okay? It looks really good in the hopper house. End of segment. Okay, got to hold